Hey guys, it's Tom Vox here coming at you with a quick video introducing you guys to the new Link Summoning mechanic. Uh, aside from the Link Summoning mechanic, we also get a field change to go with it, kind of like Pendulums, but this time we're actually kind of reverting back closer to the old field that we know where we don't have the weird Pendulum scales on the sides. We have it actually tucked in into our own back row. So uh, the Pendulum zones now actually have moved back to the Spell and Trap zone, eating the leftmost Spell Trap zone and the rightmost Spell Trap zone. And on top of that, we have two new zones on the field. Oh, well, they're technically the same type of zone. They're extra monster zones. And uh, they are neutral. Either player can play onto it, and it doesn't belong to either player's field until the person controlling it takes it. And then say you Raigeki, you'll still blow it up, of course. Like, it builds up whoever controls it. Here's a huge change, because uh, this also changes the way we play the game entirely. And in fact, it slows the game down a hell of a lot, especially if you are an extra deck spammer. Um, here we go. So, basically all extra deck monsters that are required to be summoned from the extra deck will need to be summoned onto an extra monster zone. So, basically that means you cannot spam all your XCs all in one go, you cannot pendulum summon from the extra deck without having an extra deck zone, so you're basically limited to one extra deck monster at the very beginning of the game. And, uh, however, this, here, here's the part that comes in with the new type of monster. We get Link Monsters now. Link Monsters, they have a link at the bottom, uh, basically telling you what link they are. Uh, they don't have levels, and also they don't have defense either, so they cannot be placed in defense position. Uh, you can Book of Moon this guy, and uh, one interesting feature about these monsters is that they have pointers. These pointers turn your other monster zones into extra monster zones. So when your regular monster zones now are called main monster zones, and then the other ones are called extra monster zones. And uh, wherever it points to, it turns it into an extra monster zone. Notice that how Dark, uh, Decode Talker points forward and then points to the back two sides because uh, the new zone is obviously placed dead center, so it would turn two of your zones beside it, you know, uh, you know, diagonally across from it into extra monster zones. However, it also points in front. In other words, your opponent can keep up with you. So now your opponent has two zones that they can play with that is an extra monster zone. So that's actually to balance out the fairness. So if you get to spam extra deck monsters, your opponent will be able to spam extra deck monsters. And I can imagine that in the future that more monsters will point either to the side or like into more weird places so that you get extra spaces to play. I'm not sure if it's ever going to point into the spell and trap zone. Who knows? <laughs> that would be kind of interesting. Make you like get seven monster slots that's just a speculation but you know there's lots of unexplored areas in this new mechanic and uh, definitely slows the game down think about like zodiac zodiac can't go full combo anymore although it's not too bad if you still put a drancy out there it's still kind of annoying um but you have to play link monsters and to summon out link monsters uh there's two ways uh one is to basically meet the link requirement so you send materials uh, on the card defect box into the graveyard meeting its link uh, so uh, in case in the case of uh, decode talker you can either send three effect monsters to the graveyard to meet the link three to the graveyard and summon it out so it's kind of like synchro summoning but you don't care about the levels you only care about the number of monsters you put out so if you have a link two monster plus one effect monster that will still actually equal out to link three so that way you can also summon out decode talker as well so the, the link monsters link will always remain the same link as they are summoned as and um well if you basically you can ladder into higher and higher links so some of the stuff they answered in the q a and the yg organization i posted the link down below uh for monster reborn if you revive an extra deck monster from your graveyard where does it go well it's coming from the graveyard no longer coming from the extra deck you can actually summon it in your regular monster zone of course you cannot book a moon uh the link monsters because they don't have a defense position they do not have defense position. So anything that forces it to go to defense position will not work. Like Book of Moon. And what else is there? And also your pendulum zones. They are not pendulum zones until you play pendulum cards on there. Well, let me know what you guys think about this new mechanic. I think it's actually a great way to gate out certain extra deck because I've mentioned pre in previous videos that the extra deck is the reason why the game is so fast because it's the most free summoning mechanic that we have. Special summoning, just dumping everything. So right now we gated our own special summoning mechanic. This slows the game down hell a lot. In fact, a lot of decks that synergizes based off of the extra deck only is 
going to probably need some new support to actually be able to play. Decks like Mermails and Cosmos, they're probably loving this right now because they are absolutely unhindered. I can expect Cosmo cards to kind of go up in price because of this. Uh, because they don't rely on the extra deck as much. Being able to flood the field with monsters from the main deck, that is going to be a thing, and that's that makes True Draco is probably one of the scarier decks to play now. But with the uh, with the release of this new summoning mechanic, I hope to see that Konami does reach out to support the old archetypes that are really the extra decks dependent. Maybe they'll give them some uh, link monsters to play with themselves. Um, maybe free access link monsters. I don't know. Eventually, it's going to get to a point where it's going to be pretty busted. Where, oh, I'm going to link into this guy. This guy's going to link into these guys. And these guys will just extra deck spam all over again. I can see that becoming a situation in the future. But I, I don't know. Like, these are all just speculations on my part based off of, like, unexplored game mechanics. How far can they actually take it? But this does give them options to print more product to release, like, I don't know, Six Sam. Six Sam is going to be a lovely deck. Six Sam's only basically use one extra deck monsters if they really think about it. Um, I would like to see what you guys think about this mechanic. Um, would you like to see new supports from the old archetype? Would you like to see old, new decks? How are they going to revolve? Are they going to have like link based archetypes that are like just specifically spamming out links? And with the new Pendulum Zones, what do you guys think about the new Pendulum Lockout? Especially where I think you can still Pendulum someone on the very first turn. The old Those rumors from those guys are absolutely false. This is what we need. I believe this is what we need to actually refresh Yu-Gi-Oh! into a new start. Like, people, it was very hard to introduce someone new into the game with the mechanics being so fast. And with this new mechanic coming in, slowing the hell out of the game. Um... I wonder when this is actually going to be implemented to TCG. It probably won't be implemented till like the, um, perhaps a new starter deck. Uh, we'll probably get news from Konami themselves when this is going to happen. When is this going to apply to us? This is going to be huge because I'm not sure if they want to segregate um, uh, OCG and TCG that far. It's like, oh, OCG is playing with the new links and we aren't. You know, it's it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. And until next time, I'm heading down to YCC. I don't know. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and if you guys want to see more stuff from MST.TV, drop a like and hit the left button over here to subscribe, or if you want to check out another video from us in the past, click here on the right, and as always, don't forget to hold on to your MST.TV!